tonight on the Cox 4 Training Camp Show. LSU gets physical. Find out which side of the ball Les Miles feels has the early advantage. Plus, news on a key injury for the Tigers. And why are these brothers hugging it out at Louisiana Lafayette? We've got the answer. In our high school spotlight, why a team who fell just short of a state title a year ago has reason for optimism this season. It's 10 o'clock. Time to go camping. The Cox 4 <laughs> Training Camp Show. Good evening, everyone. I'm Eric Ritchie, and welcome to the Cox 4 Training Camp Show as we bring you 30 minutes of camp news all across South Louisiana. We're broadcasting on Cox 4 in Lafayette, New Orleans and Baton Rouge. And we'll kick it off with the Louisiana Raging Cajuns. 17 starters back from a team that just wound up racking up UL's third consecutive 9-4 and four season. Suddenly, depth is an advantage. And Coach Mark Hudspeth would like to keep it that way. So the Raging Cajuns have been playing a little beat the heat and practicing team drills quite a bit this week indoors. Yeah, no, no question. We're just trying to get them out of the sun. Today we ended up having a little cloud cover. May have gotten outside a little bit, but I already had it scripted, and it's hard to change that when you've got it scheduled that way. But trying to keep the sun off our guys, uh, trying to keep our guys healthy, hydrated, so we don't have anybody missing any practice time. After scrimmage, we'll come in the next day. We'll grade the scrimmage, put a really hard grade on it. And then from that point on, we're going to step forward what we feel like is our, our 2D. Now, we may have some guys that, you know, some positions that may not be solidified that could carry on into the next week. And at some positions, we already know who it is. So um, it'll be interesting to see. We've got a lot of candidates. We've got a lot of guys that are working hard, and I'm anxious to see them going against live bullets on uh, Saturday night. You know, it's not every day that you get brothers on the same team, yet alone on the same offensive line. But that's been the scenario the past few years for the Raging Cajuns. Heading into the 2014 season, the Quave brothers of Goche, Mississippi, have established themselves as two of the top offensive linemen in the Sun Belt Conference. Michael Quave, left tackle, junior. Daniel Quave, right guard, senior. Everybody kind of feeds off our relationship, and therefore we all consider ourselves to be brothers. So I have four brothers on the starting offensive line and 14 other brothers with the whole offensive line. So, I mean, it's really a, a, a brotherhood that, that, that cannot be broken. Coming in, it was a huge advantage. You know, most freshmen didn't know what to expect. You know, they're just wide-eyed, you know, just in no man's lands, really. But now, when I came in, um, I really already knew the ropes and knew what to expect and, like, what to look forward to coming in. So I felt like it was an advantage. Daniel Quave started 39 college football games for us. Michael started 26, and so, uh, they're not only good players, but they're, they're outstanding people and uh, just uh, represent our program and our university extremely well. What were you guys like growing up in Mississippi? Your, your relationship as brothers growing up? Bad. <laughs> just bad. All, always doing something mischievous, like always breaking stuff, blaming it on each other, trying to see who can get the other person in the most trouble. Just typical young brothers. We had gotten a fight one time and, uh, and our mama had told us that she was going to go get our daddy and then uh, and she had whooped, gave us a whooping out there and then we had to walk down the street Street, holding hands. Hold <laughs> we was holding hands, hugging each other, telling each other that we love each other. Right. <laughs> what is it like right now, the expectations going into this season, three straight nine and four seasons, three straight bowl victories. What about the expectations in 2014? Um, the biggest expectations are right now that we have for our own team is to understand our standard that we have and to continue to, 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 to uprise that standard and understand that we are capable of doing so much more. You know, when you're feeling tired, just continue to push on. That's where we're going to reach the point of perseverance or what we never had before in the past two seasons. It's mainly um, not being satisfied with what we've done in the past. Like, um, the past is the past, and what we have now is what we have and what we've got to move forward with. And we feel like we can have a really good year this year, but everything that we've done in the past won't help us with what we're trying to do now. So we just get everyone to, like, just focus on the goal that we have at hand now. All right, I think that's good, but you know what we need? You guys need to walk away, holding hands, hugging, doing no. something. <laughs> <walk away. laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead, do it. Do it. Come on. 
Meanwhile, at Tulane, quarterback, not the only position that's going through a significant battle for playing time. At running back, listen to head coach Curtis Johnson list all the players in the mix. You know, Sherman is, is looking awesome. You know, he's, he can run. It's one of the things that we didn't have. I think he's, a, he's shown that he's a home run hitter. He and Rounds are going at it. I like what Don Trail's doing. He's a freshman that I, I can't afford not to play. Lazedrick play, had a good practice today. And Dante, since he's come back, he looks good. You know, he, he, he's, he's smart, he looks good. So those guys will be in the mix for, you know, for getting touches. You know, there's been a lot of talk recently about Qatar hosting the next World Cup. News to us, but not so much for Tulane sophomore offensive lineman Nathan Shinley. You see, Nathan's father is in the Green Berets, and Qatar is just one of the many places the Shinley family has called home. I was born in North Carolina. I moved to Tennessee, back to North Carolina to Kansas, then I moved overseas to Qatar, the Middle East, into Tampa, and now I'm here. Tell me about Qatar. How old were you? What was the experience? I was fifth to eighth grade, so about 10 to 13 in that age, and it was great. I really enjoyed it because, you know, every Christmas and summer, we'd go travel somewhere. You know, I've been pretty much everywhere in the world I want to be, from Europe into Africa, down over to Australia. It's, that's, that's what I enjoyed most, just seeing different people and different perspectives on, like, life and the world. It's incredibly helpful. What was Qatar like for you? It was, it was interesting because, you know, I was, I was 10, so I wasn't really, I was just right at that age to start really understanding kind of the culture difference and things like that. But the, I remember the first thing I walked off the plane, it was, you know, July, it's probably about 125. And I was like, oh, it's hot. <laughs> you know, there's no humidity, so it's a little payoffs, but I, it was a great experience. What were some of the favorite places that stood out or a, a, a best vacation or a best memory? South Africa, New Zealand, absolutely beautiful. I remember in South Africa, we were in a safari, and you know they said, "Hey, we found lions." So everybody, so everybody in our car is like, "Oh yeah, of course we're gonna go see the lions." And we see them. Riders are walking over this hill. You know, me and my little brother are like, "Oh, you know, we're bummed out." And the guy just pulled right around the hill. We were right in a pride of lions. And I mean, you see them in the zoo, but I mean, and they're as close, you know, as me and you are. They're big <laughs> and they're all muscle. It's not something I would want to mess with. <laughs> Tell me why you've been able to move and do all the things and travel internationally. My dad's in the military. He's been he's in the army for about 30 years in a Green Beret for about 25-ish around there. And what's that been like, having your dad be a, a member of the Green Beret? That's intense. You know, I was I've read a few books on it. Cause whenever I ask him, he just kind of gives me a book on it. And you know, kind of you know Tell makes you to me watch the makes, John Wayne movie. Yeah, it makes me read a little bit. You know, but he <laughs> but I'm just reading some of that stuff. It it really puts this into perspective. You know, because I remember one of the quotes that they always tell you is someone there's always somebody in the world in more pain than you are so you know and just reading some of the things they have to do where they go four days without sleeping and only get one meal i mean we're eating four meals a day you know it really puts this in a perspective you know because there are guys obviously this is hard but like that's just a whole different level and it really has helped me keep a perspective and you know kind of get through the like tough days of camp Last question, bring it back to football. You, you listed as a guard. I know you played a little guard, but you played center a little bit today, too. Yeah. What's going on with you position-wise? What's going on? They have me doing everything. Because right now they're just trying to see where everybody fits in. And I, you know, I don't know when they're going to actually make all the decisions. But right now they're just trying people in different positions. A lot of people swing guys. And just trying to see where people fit in best. The Cox Sports Training Camp Show is brought to you by Royal Honda, the dealership that's different by the Brandner Law Firm, servicing clients throughout Louisiana, and by the Lafayette Convention and Visitors Commission, the happiest city in America. Have you tasted Lafayette, home to the very best Cajun and Creole and everything that's hot? And by hot, we mean cool in cuisine. The gateway to world-famous Louisiana seafood, caught fresh daily in the Gulf of Mexico, and home to amazing chefs serving up delectable dishes daily. You'll find it all here. Cajun, Creole, acclaimed, undiscovered, spicy, delicate, white linen, paper napkin. Get to Lafayette and taste what you've been missing. A tremendous amount of life happens in 50 years. During this past half century, the Royal Automotive family dedicated our time to ensure a positive impact on everyone with whom we've come in contact. Our team, their families, our community, and the customers we serve. Royal is proud to celebrate 50 years in business. A heartfelt thank you goes out to all our customers, past and present. As we begin another 50 years, Royal Honda will continue to earn the phrase, the dealership that's different. Working on an offshore rig or boat can be a dangerous job. 
Fires, explosions, and collisions are only some of the risks that these workers face every day. I'm Michael Brander. At our firm, we understand the hardships that injury victims and their families face after an accident. Let us handle your case so we can help guide you on the road to recovery. Call us or visit our website to find out about your legal rights. The Brander Law Firm, fighting for justice. Hey, Ascension, it's high school football time. Cox 4 is celebrating 13 years of live high school football games in our area. We're talking ESPN award-winning coverage. We've got you covered as our team brings you analysis on all the hard-hitting high school matchups. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook and catch the latest videos and pics at Cox4.tv. Don't miss live, local, award-winning football only on Cox 4. I think our defense is, is ahead. I think they're... They're, they're, they're ready for the situation and ready for the uh, keep and the good offense and, you know, the challenge. It's like this. When the defense does good, then that offense will have to answer. And so that's the challenge at this point. Welcome back to the Cox Ford Training Camp Show. You know, we make a big deal about that gauntlet drill the receivers have to go through on LSU's first day of camp frankly, because it's one of the more exciting things that we get to see. But the gauntlet drill has nothing on the big cat. That's when it's lineman versus lineman, mano a mano. And on Thursday, the participants did not disappoint. According to reports out of Baton Rouge, the first major injury of camp at LSU. Defensive tackle Quentin Thomas, number 95, seen here practicing on Monday, has been lost for the season with a torn bicep. On Wednesday, center Elliot Porter said LSU's offensive line could become the best in the nation. Today we hear from the left side, tackle Lyle Collins and guard Vidal Alexander. First of all, you know, I see guys uh, taking great coaching, uh, competing on a daily basis, and, you know, we're just, we're just focused on being, you know, the best offensive line in the country, and that's the approach we take each and every day. You know, I think it started with Coach Grimes. You know, he, he believed in us, you know, from watching us in the spring to, to, to camp now, and I feel like the approach for us and the bar that we set is, is pretty high, but we're going to reach it. Yeah, I think we can uh, block any defensive line. Um, I think we've seen all the, the fronts and defenses come knowing the man because we all played for years now so we're a pretty veteran group so I think nothing can surprise us nothing can really shock us um, we kind of know what's coming. Still to come on the Cox Sport training camp show you high on the road to return to the dome but up next Sean Payton talks about facing former defensive coordinator Greg Williams tonight in St. Louis. Our daddy works hard for the injured because he cares and wants to help people. If you've been injured, call the Brander Law Firm. 
not a tiny spokesperson. Duh! <laughs> <laughs> For four decades, Arrow Fence has provided top quality fencing, gates, and service. Not only specializing in all types of fencing, Arrow Fence offers automated gates and controls. With an A-plus Better Business Bureau rating, Arrow Fence is fully licensed and insured. For a free estimate, log on to our website or call today. Hey, New Orleans, it's high school football time. Cox 4 is celebrating six years of live high school football games in our area. Holy Cross, Warren Easton, St. Augustine, Jesuit. You get the picture. It's live and exclusive on the Cox 4 Game of the Week. We've got you covered as our team brings you analysis on all the hard-hitting high school matchups. For the latest videos and picks, check us out on Twitter and Facebook or head on over to Cox4.tv. Have you tasted Lafayette, home to the very best Cajun and Creole and everything that's hot? And by hot, we mean cool in cuisine. The gateway to world-famous Louisiana seafood, caught fresh daily in the Gulf of Mexico, and home to amazing chefs serving up delectable dishes daily. You'll find it all here. Cajun, Creole, acclaimed, undiscovered, spicy, delicate, white linen, paper napkin. Get to Lafayette and taste what you've been missing. The Saints Report is brought to you by Royal Honda, the dealership that's different. The Saints kicking off the preseason portion of their schedule tonight in St. Louis. The Rams defense now led by former Saints defensive coordinator Greg Williams. After the Bounty Gate scandal, a messy breakup probably best sums up the end of Williams' tenure in New Orleans. It's something that Coach Payton was asked about earlier in the week. It's not a big topic, though. I mean, really, it, our players are playing. It's a preseason game. We're trying to get the right guys evaluated. Um, you know, that's not even a, in my opinion, it's not a big deal at all. Um, what's important is just getting, getting our guys ready to know what they're doing and put their best foot forward and play well. We were just watching, um, I believe it was three years ago, we played San Fran, the first preseason game, and, and uh, you know, it was like zero blitz. Like you know, f you know, four times out of nine. So, so you know, it's going to be great work for, um, um, for the quarterbacks, for the O line, for the tight ends, for the, I mean, for everybody across the board. You know, he's, um, that's who he is, and he brings it. So, so you know, we have to be ready for that. So now the Saints return to West Virginia, where they will be for about another week. They're off tomorrow and resume practice Sunday afternoon. Hey everybody, this is Walter Wild, General Sales Manager with Royal Honda. We've been supporting the black and gold since 1967, and we look forward to a great season in 2014. Go Saints! Hey Louisiana, it's high school football time. Cox 4 is celebrating 13 years of live high school games in our area. Central, Woodlawn, Catholic, Parkview, you get the picture. It's live and exclusive on the Cox 4 Game of the Week. Fast moving and big on fun. We've got you covered as our team brings you analysis on all the hard hitting high school matchups. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook and catch the latest videos and picks at Cox4.tv. Don't miss live local award winning football only on Cox 4. For four decades, Arrow Fence has provided top quality fencing, gates, and service. Not only specializing in all types of fencing, Arrow Fence offers automated gates and controls. With an A-plus Better Business Bureau rating, Arrow Fence is fully licensed and insured. For a free estimate, log on to our website or call today. At the Brandon Law Firm, we work hard to protect your rights. If you or a loved one were involved in an accident resulting in serious injuries or even death, call us or visit our website. The Brandon Law Firm, fighting for justice. A tremendous amount of life happens in 50 years. During this past half century, the Royal Automotive family dedicated our time to ensure a positive impact on everyone with whom we've come in contact. Our team, their families, our community, and the customers we serve. Royal is proud to celebrate 50 years in business. A heartfelt thank you goes out to all our customers, past and present. As we begin another 50 years, Royal Honda will continue to earn the phrase, the dealership that's different. 
The High School Spotlight is brought to you by the Brandner Law Firm, representing clients throughout Louisiana. One more win. That's all that separated University Lab from a Division II state championship last season. This year, reason for optimism? Plenty. Starting with the pair of LSU commits, running back Nick Brosette and linebacker Dylan Moses, along with Les's son Manny Miles back at quarterback. Our high school spotlight shines on you high. Well, you know, I think looking at our team, we've got a lot of experience in our skill positions, uh, offensively, quarterback and running back, tons of experience. Uh, you know, we're looking to, to fill in some starters on the line that we lost last year, and defensively kind of the same thing. You know, a lot of good speed and, and good players in the secondary and our linebacking core, uh, but up front is where we're looking to, you know, fill out some new spots. Well, our running back, uh, Nick brosette has been a four-year starter for us, uh, been a very, very steady player and great Great, uh, you know, talent and work ethic guy. Uh, Manny Miles returning at quarterback, who had an outstanding season last year as his first year starting quarterback. So uh, expecting big things out of him. And then defensively, uh, we've got a handful of guys. Dylan Moses, of course, led our team in tackles uh, as a freshman. So we're expecting great things out of him. Uh, and our secondary guys like Malik Antoine, Trey Jackson, uh, they, they've been really good stalwarts for us as well. I'm just happy to get back. Football season's the best part of the year every year. So it's exciting just to be back. You know, expectations are high, good team coming back. And you think of those expectations with the skilled players and yourself and Nick and our offense and, you know, some talented guys defensively as well. What are those expectations for you guys yourselves for this year? I mean, the ultimate goal is winning the state championship. Each week we're going to have a different opponent, and that's obviously a goal in itself, but the ultimate goal is to win it all. What do you guys have to accomplish on the field, Manny, to achieve those goals? Um... I think we just have to do what our coaches have been telling us to do. I mean, we've, we've put in the work. We started the week after we lost last year working out and getting bigger and stronger for this year coming up. We've been running sprints and 110s, and, you know, that's the stuff that wins you the state championship, not the, not the practice the week before. What do you want people to know about U High football as you approach this year with, with those skilled position players that you just rattled off? Uh, you know, hopefully, you know, when you think skilled players, you, you sometimes think soft, and so that's one thing with us as a team we always stress is, is we certainly want to pride ourselves on being a physical team. I think our team last year was that, and again, th this year's challenge is, is can we be known as a physical team as well. Playmakers one, playmakers one. Whoa. Playmakers. Working on an offshore rig or boat can be a dangerous job. Fires, explosions, and collisions are only some of the risks that these workers face every day. I'm Michael Brander. At our firm, we understand the hardships that injury victims and their families face after an accident. Let us handle your case so we can help guide you on the road to recovery. Call us or visit our website to find out about your legal rights. The Brandon Law Firm, fighting for justice. A tremendous amount of life happens in 50 years. During this past half century, the Royal Automotive family dedicated our time to ensure a positive impact on everyone with whom we've come in contact. Our team, their families, our community, and the customers we serve. Royal is proud to celebrate 50 years in business. A heartfelt thank you goes out to all our customers, past and present. As we begin another 50 years, Royal Honda will continue to earn the phrase, the dealership that's different. For four decades, Arrow Fence has provided top quality fencing, gates, and service. Not only specializing in all types of fencing, Arrow Fence offers automated gates and controls. With an A-plus Better Business Bureau rating, Arrow Fence is fully licensed and insured. For a free estimate, log on to our website or call today. Hey, Acadiana, it's high school football time. Cox 4 is celebrating eight years of live high school games in our area. Northside, Roll Bridge, Notre Dame, St. Thomas More. You get the picture. It's live and exclusive on the Cox 4 Game of the Week. Cox, live 15 weeks, LUS 0. We've got you covered as our team brings you analysis on all the hard-hitting high school matchups. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook and catch the latest videos and pics at Cox4.tv. Have you tasted Lafayette? Home to the very best Cajun and Creole and everything that's hot. And by hot, we mean cool in cuisine. The gateway to world-famous Louisiana seafood. Caught fresh daily in the Gulf of Mexico. And home to amazing chefs serving up delectable dishes daily. You'll find it all here. 
Cajun, Creole, acclaimed, undiscovered, spicy, delicate, white linen, paper napkin. Get to Lafayette and taste what you've been missing. Well, at this point in the show, I've gone eight full innings. It's time for a closer. Earlier in the week, we featured Ken Freelander from 100.3, the Game Plan ESPN affiliate in New Orleans. Well, tonight, it's his sidekick in crime. We're going to hop on board with Chad Laborde. I'm Chad Laborde from ESPN 100.3 New Orleans and ESPN 1003.com, and I'm a co-host with Ken Friedlander on The Game Plan each and every weekday from 11 to 1. I started my senior year, the summer of my senior year, at Archbishop Shaw going into that year, so I've been doing this since I'm 17. I used to spin records, but I was always a passionate sports guy, particularly with college and NFL football. But the Saints and LSU have always been an inspiration to me, particularly when you go back to the days of Tommy Hodson at LSU and for the Saints, Dalton Hilliard. My concern for the Saints this year is the offensive line, not just the center position. I want to see more of Teron Armstead for 16 weeks consistently playing at a high level. Hey Chad, what do you think will be the keys? I know you're a big LSU fan. What will be some of the keys for victory to get them over the hump? A quick start for our guys for the 2014 season. We need to know that they have more than just Traven Durrell at wide receiver. That's one of the things, um, of course, the quarterback play, who's going to play, and if they have to switch quarterbacks at any point during the season, does that mean they're going to lose a game or two or more? So those, those are two really key spots since they lost Landry and Beckham at wide receiver and Zach Mettenberger at quarterback. Defensively, defensive tackles and middle linebacker, that's what I see. Can they stop the run more consistently than they did last season and rotate some of those young pups from the 2013 and 14 classes in and out like they did back in 11 and 12. The station is growing by leaps and bounds, 90,000 watts of power, 24-7, 365 sports coverage, and it happens to be ESPN. This is something that has not been in New Orleans ever before. And this is a newbie for, for the market, and I think it's gonna grow even more and get better and better as time goes on, not only from a national perspective with our national programming, but with our local shows like The Game Plan, and, and others that we have here. Uh, when it comes to NFL and college football, you're going to be well educated in New Orleans now with a 24-7 sports station in ESPN 100.3 New Orleans and streaming at ESPN1003.com. Well, you can follow me on Twitter at Chad Laborde. You can listen to Ken Friedlander and I on the game plan from 11 to 1 on ESPN 100.3 New Orleans and ESPN1003.com and on the TuneIn radio app. Thanks so much, Chad. That will put an end to tonight's show and our first week on the Cox Board Training Camp Show. If you're just finding out about us, just tuning in, we're going to do this 30-minute program Monday through Friday all through the month of August. Cox 4, Lafayette, Baton Rouge, and New Orleans with fresh shows Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, replays Tuesdays and Thursday nights. That will do it for now. Thanks so much for watching the Cox 4 Training Camp Show.